What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about Solana NFTs. Yes, they have recently come onto the market and they are looking ever so more interesting. If you don't already know what NFTs are, or you haven't really looked so much at NFTs, I recommend going back and checking out my NFT video over on my channel. Um, basically, this will explain a lot more about NFTs if you don't already know what they are. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you can make a lot of money, potentially millions, with Solana NFTs because they are not as popular as the Ethereum network and NFTs, but in the future, they could well be, and that is where the money is to be made. So we're gonna be talking about that in today's video. As always, sit back, relax, and get ready for the video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me once again. Let's smash 1,000 likes on today's video. That would be absolutely amazing. And also, if you're new to the channel, first of all, a huge, massive welcome. And second of all, scroll down, hit subscribe, and then tick that notification bell so you stay notified about when I post my next video. In the next few weeks, I'm gonna be posting a lot more um, DeFi and NFT videos as well, so definitely stay tuned for that. So let's jump into the, today's video. First of all, uh, Solana now has an NFT marketplace, which is Solana, Solana I'm just gonna call it Solana Art because it's a lot easier to say than Solana Art. Um, basically, this is the very, very similar to something like OpenSea. OpenSea is the um, marketplace for Ethereum NFTs and um, Solana Art is in fact the marketplace for Solana NFTs. So in this video, I'm gonna be telling you about how you can make money from them, about how you can buy them, uh, NFTs that have already been minted. Um, I'm gonna tell you how to mint NFTs as well, Solana NFTs, and overall, it should be a great video and hopefully you learn a lot more about Solana NFTs and also you can make some money on the way. So first of all, um, basically what you need to do is go ahead and get yourself a wallet. So before we get into the video, guys, actually my girlfriend made a great video exactly on this topic. So if you like Solana NFTs and you like NFTs and DeFi in general, I would definitely recommend going ahead and, going ahead and subscribing over there. I'll have the video and her channel linked down below. Definitely go and check it out linked down below. So first of all, when you want to go ahead and make yourself, um, or you want to buy Solana NFTs or mint them, you need to go ahead and get yourself a wallet. Now, you cannot use MetaMask for Solana Art or Solana NFTs, unfortunately. However, there is something else uh, called Phantom Wallet, which is pretty much identical to MetaMask. It's just on the Solana blockchain, completely free. Again, like MetaMask, it's a Chrome extension. Make sure you go to phantom.app. Make sure you have the correct website because, of course, there'll be a lot of scammers out there trying to get you to install fake wallets. So definitely go to um, phantom.app. Again, it's completely free. Once you've made yourself a wallet, you can go ahead and connect it to um, Solana Art, and then this is where it starts to get interesting. You can have your uh, wallet balance right here. If my wallet will note, I have around $1,000 in it, um, around 6.1 Solana, and um, yeah, you just simply need to send Solana to this wallet, uh, and then you can go ahead and get going. Just be careful though, um, because if you are sending um, from certain wallets, maybe it will not be uh, the same because it's not on the same network. For example, you can't just send USDT on your, uh, for example, Exodus wallet um, or something like that to this Phantom wallet because it will not reach there. It's on a completely different blockchain. I always say the easiest way to send money is just send it from Binance. This is completely the easiest way. Even if your money is in a separate wallet, send it to Binance and then send it to Solana, um, the Phantom Wallet on Solana blockchain because this is the easiest way and it will have the least confusion because on, on Binance, you can easily choose which network you want to send it to. And of course, if you're sending to Phantom Wallet, you have to send it on the Solana network. So I just thought I would point that out um, before we get any further into today's video. First of all, um, let's go ahead and have a look at some of these different uh, NFTs. One of the ways that you could potentially make money is uh, by something like this. A lot of these NFTs on the Ethereum uh, network are extremely expensive. I'm sure you guys know what uh, CryptoPunks are. They are selling for hundreds and hundreds of Ethereum. Um, and in fact, if you look on here, the floor price on this, this means the lowest um, price available they're selling for, is only 13.4 Solana. Now, 13.4 uh, times about 170, it's only, I say only, but it's $2,000. But potentially that $2,000 could easily come become 10, 20, 30, 100, 200, or even millions in the future. And one thing I like about Solana Art is you can actually check the price history. So you can see there's 181 daily sales. Um, you can see the daily, daily volume is 5.7K. 
and um, the total volume is 371. So here we can see the, the um, average price we can see here on this day was around 80 Solana. And then we can see right here, the price is slowly creeping up. So I think overall, um, I purchased a couple of days ago for around 11 um, Solana for one NFT. And now they're up at around, um, the average price yesterday was around 20 Solana that they sold for. So definitely the floor price has increased around two to three Solana. So already just from buying it um, yesterday, I've made around, um, 2.5 Solana, which is around five or $600 just in uh, one day or so. And, and that's let alone uh, talking about um, over the course of a few months. So definitely this is a great option because if we go over to OpenSea, and take a look at the uh, CryptoPunks. Of course, we know they are selling for absolutely insane money. Um, we can see right here, um, 20 Ethereum, 29 Ethereum. Um, we can see here 50 Ethereum. And these are the ones that are actually just being offered. Actually, the ones that uh, have buy now, they are probably gonna be a lot more. And there's not even any available to buy now you have to offer. Uh, so yeah, they are selling for literally tens and tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Whereas on the Solana network, you can pick them up for fairly cheap. And a lot of people that maybe wanted to buy a CryptoPunk on the Ethereum network, they can't because it's so expensive. So now they go ahead and buy it on um, Solana network. And that's what pushes the price up. Also, there is other another one right here. I purchased one of these yesterday for around 100 uh, or 99 to be exact. One. Uh, 99 Solana and um, yeah these are, are very good as well Degenerate Ape Academy as you know over on the Ethereum blockchain they are going absolutely crazy or similar ones are going absolutely crazy and um, the Ape Club so these are also doing very very well and I think potentially um, when we take a look at the price history um, there could be a lot of profit to be actually be made here we see 94 daily sales total sales around 15k uh, and we can see right here uh, yesterday a lot were a lot were actually purchased and over on my twitter i actually showed this um if you're not already following me on twitter go ahead and follow me at crypto jack um the first ever seven figure nft sale on Sol on solana happened today the growth is here and it's happening lightning fast we can see right here moonrock capital purchased um the 13th rarest uh, DGen Ape Academy NFT for around 6,000 Solana, about $1.1 million. So if these uh, big capital um, investment companies are purchasing these uh, Solana NFTs for over $1.1 million, that definitely does show you that something is happening and people are seeing an opportunity. And that's exactly why I wanted to bring you this video. Also, though, if you were kind of struggling, uh, it can be a little bit difficult to know what NFT to buy. Um, there is a great tool um, to actually go ahead and do that. And it's called how rare dot is again, this is a completely free site. And like we saw right here, we can see um, the gen ape Academy, we can click on it like so. And we can actually see the rarity of these. Now, I really, really wanted to buy one of these uh, spacesuit apes. I really wanted to buy one. Um, but we can see here, like uh, the last sale, 2,500 Solana, 1,500 Solana. So let's say 1,500 Solana times 170. They're around $250,000, around a quarter of a million dollars for one of these. Yes, um, maybe still I will even purchase one because I really want one. Maybe I'll shoot some offers over of around a thousand Solana and see if anyone accepts um, because I, I just think they're really cool and I think they could do well uh, as well. Anything space themed, Elon Musk themed, um, anything like that, they do extremely well. And um, yeah, over here you can go ahead and type in um, one, that you, one that you actually like. For example, if you like um, this one right here, you can just copy this and then go ahead and type it in, in here. And you can also select the different um, char characteristics and see what in fact is going on there. One that I purchased was uh, one with a ski jacket because um, we can go right here and search. I purchased mine for around 99, um, 99 Solana. And what I saw was the next uh, most expensive ones were around 107, 108. And then it has a huge jump to around 150. Of course, this is just the marketplace and um, someone could list one tomorrow for around 50 Solana and that'll completely blow me out of the water. However, when you go ahead and take a look at the ski jacket, you can see the rarity of these and they are actually uh, quite rare. I believe the ski jacket, yeah, 1.3, 
5% of these NFTs have a ski jacket. And that's something that you want to look for. You want to look for this rarity. You want to look for something uh, that nobody else has. Maybe even I'll go and buy these three apes right here. And even I could relist them for 150 um, Solana and that could potentially push the market price up. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. I'm not sure if you guys ever played FIFA Ultimate Team, um, but NFTs remind me a lot of FIFA Ultimate Team. Back in the day, I used to play this. Even just a couple of years ago, I used to play this and um, it's kind of buying and reselling selling and buying and holding to see if they will increase in value but of course this is with real money this is with crypto and you can actually do a lot more so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at um, the how rare dot is website again and take a look at something else we can also see upcoming drops right there where it says upcoming drops here you can actually see different uh, nfts which are being minted for example right here we have birds you can simply go to their website and you can go ahead and mint one um we see Solana birds, generate NFTs built on Solana, and you can actually go ahead and mint them. Uh, and basically minting means creating one, so you will buy them at cost price. I actually missed out on minting these. I actually wanted to mint them when they first came out, um, not even so long ago. However, the minting time was around 4 or 5 a.m. at Dubai time when I was back in Dubai. And this was just um, a bit of a crazy time for me to wake up. But looking back, I could have minted one. I'm not sure what they were. I think they were one or two Solana. So I could have around 70x'd my money in the space of around one or two weeks. So definitely um, I would have a look at some of these minting. Of course, not all of them will do well. You can check out their Twitter right here as well. And you can see kind of what ones have a lot of followers on Twitter, what ones have... Um, a lot of engagement on Twitter and you can kind of judge which ones you may want to buy from that. And to mint them, you simply go to their website, connect your phantom wallet up there and then click mint when the time is available. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Again, I think um, Solana NFTs could be incredibly, incredibly profitable and popular in the next coming months. Of course, this is all dependent on the Solana price and the crypto market as well. If we see a massive dump in Solana or a massive dump in um the marketplace in general then we could see these nfts slowly um fade a little bit and see a little bit of a downside uh, to them however i think solana is very very bullish and i think we could see a thousand dollar solana in the next few months um i don't actually hold any solana unfortunately I, I completely missed out on purchasing it um which is definitely not the greatest if we do see a pullback at all i will purchase some but i do have around 150 um 150 Solana worth of NFTs. I bought one of these, um, Degen Ape Academy. And in fact, I'll just show you, it's a lot easier. Um, I purchased one of these, Degen Ape Academy. Also, I purchased um, one of these um, Solana Punks and also I purchased one of these. I actually forgot what they were. Oh, uh, there we go, Aurorium. I purchased one of those as well. And um, yeah, these three cost me around 150 Solana, which is around 30, $35,000, something like that. Of course, it is a little bit crazy, but who knows, one of these could go absolutely crazy and make me a lot of money. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Again, if you did like these NFT videos, if you like these um, DeFi videos, definitely uh, leave me a like and drop a comment down below. Also, don't forget to check out my girlfriend's channel as well. She has a lot of um, videos on NFTs, uh, DeFi and crypto as well. And definitely let's help her get to 1000 subscribers. Thanks for watching today's video, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.